Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mathani and welcome to Learn in Tech. Today I'm going to talk about how you can use Bootstrap in ASP.NET website or in Visual Studio. I'm using VS17. You can use it for the VS, whatever version you are using. So just go in your Visual Studio, click on File, click on New, select Website, click on ASP.NET Empty Website. You can select the location from here, wherever you want to save your project, click OK. Once our solution is ready, we'll see that how we can do that. So now my solution is ready here, website five, and there is nothing right now here in including a bin or package.config and web.config. So what I have to do, right click on my website here, there is a manage and you get packages, click on this. There is three options coming up here, browse, install and update, click on browse. Just type bootstrap here, click OK. There you can see that Bootstrap 3.7 is coming up here. So currently Bootstrap 4 is out already, but it's not showing up here. So I'll install the 3.7. Click on install here. Click OK. In the right hand side section, now you can see that there is a content font and script folder are there. So these all three folder are Bootstrap folder and the Bootstrap has been successfully installed in our application. I'll click on the content section. So there you can see that all CSS and map file are here. In the font, there are all font file for glyph icons here. And in the script file, you can see that our bootstrap.js or main.js is there. And also the jQuery reference file are here. So now what I have to do is, I'll just show you a quick example that how you can create a welcome page in a bootstrap. Right click on your website, click on add add new item select web form click add once you are there now what i have to do in the head section i have to include all the reference file first of all i will select my bootstrap.min.css file so this is my min file just drag it and drop it here and in the script section i will include first my jquery min file here after that bootstrap min.js now all three file are here so now what i have to do i have to go inside the div and i have a code ready with me it's a simple jumbotron code and i'll paste it here save it and press f5 to debug and run it we'll see that how it's work in our browser you can see there the validation is complete and in a browser it's showing my first bootstrap page and if i make it smaller it's working fine the way we need it so this is the way you can embed bootstrap in asp.net website and can start creating responsive site for your project so thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel if you haven't done already and stay tuned for more videos i'll be coming up with more videos regarding the asp.net thank you so much